I just apply the cotton spirit swab on this particular region. Now we try to understand there is the bony depression. Where this point is located? Before that Sizu Kung completed, that is the Sanjo 21, Shaoyang and then Shaoyang. But here, this is the Sanjo 23, then just a distal to that Sanjo 23, there is the bony small depression. That is the point tune lateral to the outer canthus of the eye. In the lateral part of the bony depression, this point is located. Now I try to find out that particular point while giving the pressure. All of you try to see that. You just take one mirror next to you and then try to find out. Otherwise you just place your finger itself to find out this particular point. So now when you apply the deeper level that should go at least one tune deeper level then you are applying on to the bony level of the depression. You just take deep breath, you just take deep breath. So the totally one tune needle entered to that bony depression. Right? If you apply on the bone, it doesn't go one show needle. Very small depression. <coughs> then you understand by look by applying this, when you wanted to see the whether there is right or wrong position that goes to the one show needle, that is the outer canthus. This is the outer canthus of the eye, this is the inner canthus of the eye. Inside there is an inner canthus, this is the outer canthus of the eye. If inner canthus of the eye is the different point, but this is the outer canthus of the eye in the bony depression, that to be known as a gallbladder, one known as a tung cilio. Right. So this point to be applied in the different directions for the different problems. Now this is especially I applied in order to get the healing properties to the vision. So this applied especially numerous points are located on the vicinity of the eye. Among them <coughs> the most important point, one of the important also to be known as a Tung Zi Liyo. If we applied this perpendicular that you are applied in the orbital margin this also orbital margin right inside you applied the cheng chi cheng chi is the stomach one point that goes to the deeper level when you applied the ching ming that also goes to the one cho needle deep level but here also applied to the deep one cho needle that also good to treat for the optic nerve if the optic nerve atrophy is there, even that condition also can be treatable. At the same time, vision, you look at about the ophthalmology. There are the hundreds of the various diseases of the eyes. But once we name it, so many things. But you remember that all those conditions, some of the diseases can be treatable, some of the eye diseases are non-treatable, but however, which, are, which all are treatable, so that particular time, it is recommended to use this particular point, definitely this is, Tung Silio is the very good point to treat for the temporal headache, then the migraine related disorders, of course the facial paralysis, drooping of the eye, dryness of the eye, cataract conditions, conjunctivitis and cornea inflammation, lung keratitis, so on. So the macular degeneration is there, retina pigmentosa is there or we call as a RP related problem. Definitely there is the positive signs the patient feel if we applied in the appropriate position. Hopefully you understand in the only one direction this called as a perpendicular direction. Now I am applying in the various different directions. Same point I wanted to connect <coughs> by using the through to through needling. One needle, two acupuncture points that called as a Sizukung and then Tung Silio. That is Sanjo 21. 
Now I am applying the Sanjio T3 and then Tung Silio together I activated both the points in one needle <coughs> then Tung Silio gallbladder one I wanted to apply in the different direction especially for the temporal headache So this point to be known as a Thayang. The head and neck extraordinary point to be known as a Thayang. Now one particular point we have applied in the three different directions. One direction is the perpendicular. The second direction is through to through needling. The third direction is through to through. One is, is the gallbladder one to Thayang point as well. <coughs> Hopefully you understand which condition we wanted to treat because when the person having the temporalis muscles headache or the orbicularis, I applied the needle on the orbicularis <coughs> acuely muscles on the temporal related to the temporalis muscles, I just activated this point also good to strengthen the temporal arteries and then temporal nerves and which applies to the auricular as well and also optic nerve so therefore having the numerous physiological aspect when we wanted to treat for the migraine headache so that particular time it is used to puncture the thai yang point bleed for few drops on the thai yang region or you just apply the needle in this direction that also good because the temporal headache or the vertex of the headache occipital headache all are connected to the two organs one is is the trip one is is the gallbladder the second one is is the liver when this mimetic muscles this muscles get more stiffness or spasticity that to dilate the muscles certainly we can use this point of course when there is the other region we have the another couple of the points as well but however i talk politely to one that particular point so are you really feeling more pain or like what? relaxation type some sensations are going on here like relaxation so you are not feeling much pain no pain is not there. So you can see that also it is the odd. Please don't tell because of me or because of the you know participants. But however, tell me the truth so that the art <coughs> he says lie or he says true that I understand. But only for your sake, I wanted to get through his mouth because the needle tell me whether once I insert the needle, I can feel it. I can talk to needle. The needle will tell me whether I am paining or not paining to the patient because the insertion, the insertion is the key. <coughs> Hopefully you understand. This is the gallbladder one. Then but come to the chun is inserted. One chun, totally one one chun. One chun deep, right? Perpendicular. Yes, perpendicular is the one chun deep. All the needles are one chun deep. So, can you come a little closer, sir? Yes. Thank you, sir. All right. Then we'll move on to the. Now, the question arises, sir, we are the beginners. How is it possible to apply? So, so deep, it's a difficulty. So, this particular time, use the micro needle. Micro needle is 14 mm, 13 mm, or the 7 mm, 9 mm, or you can use the nano needle. Initially, start in that way. Still, you are phobia on it, then apply the pressure on that particular region, ask them to activate this point that also having the certain positive role. Somebody is telling I have the pain. Ask them to apply the pressure on this region clockwise direction and then anti-clockwise direction for two minutes. Certainly after some time the patient feel more relaxation. <coughs>